Uh, this is a video of uh, operations with complex numbers. The warm up is to solve uh, these quadratics by setting them equal to zero. x squared plus 25 equals zero. Back 25 from both sides. X squared equals negative 25. Take the square root of both sides. x is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 25. One eye out. And then take the square root of 25. So x is plus or minus 5i. Equating the second quadratic to 0. I'm going to solve this one by completing the square. I'm going to take uh, f of b, b is 4, so 4 divided by 2, equal 2, and 2 squared, equal 4. Next step is going to be add 4 to both sides of the equation. And then uh, factor the left side. Take the square root of both sides. Subtract 2 from both sides. And pull an I out of the radical. So the answer, negative 2 plus or minus I squared of 5. All right, this is just information slide. There's a mistake here. This should say I squared equal negative one. It's explaining what uh, the complex number is. There's a real part A and imaginary part BI. An ima imaginary number, a pure imaginary number would be in the form of BI. And every, any number now that we write in Algebra 2 can be considered a complex number. This one's uh, how do you add, what's the process of adding two complex numbers? You're going to combine like terms. Combine the real number part and combine imaginary 
number of parts. Uh, and then put the answer A plus BI form. All right, so the bottom one here is an example. Negative three plus four I plus negative one minus six I. So what you want to do there is combine negative three and negative one. And then combine the four I uh, plus negative six I. So when I do that, negative two or negative four, sorry, negative four plus negative two I. And I'm not going to leave it that way. I'm just going to be write it as negative four minus two I. And then this is just showing you how to add these two here. You're going to add the four and five, you get nine, add three I and negative two I, and you get one I. Or you can just leave it as I. You don't have to write this one. When the coefficient is one, you don't have to write the other one there. So slide five, try these. So you're going to do three plus two, which is five. And 4i plus 5i is 9i. So the first one is just 5 plus 9i. Second one, 1 plus 3 is 4. And negative 6i plus negative 2i is negative 8i. So 4 minus 8i. Number 3. 2 plus 6 is 8. And 5 plus negative 8i is negative 3i. Number 4. 4 plus negative 5, negative 1. Negative 3i plus negative 7i is negative 10i. Number five, negative two plus one is negative one. And three I plus negative two I is just I. So negative one plus I. Uh, the process of subtracting I'll just illustrate this last one here. This is the way I always do it. And I suggest uh, you do the same so you don't make sign errors. So negative 3 plus 4i minus negative 1 minus 6i. Uh, the way I do the subtraction is just take away the parentheses here, negative 3 plus 4i, and then uh, distribute the negative. So that would be 1, so plus 1, and plus 6i. And just add like terms here, negative 3. Plus 1 is negative 2, and 4i uh, plus 6i is 10i. So 
So describing in words what I did. Uh, distribute the negative to the second complex number. Then combine like terms. The same as we did with the adding problems. So go ahead and try these. So in each problem, I'm going to strip away the parentheses and distribute the negative. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. And this is combining like terms now. 4i minus 5i is negative i. Number 8, take away the parentheses. One, one minus six i, and distribute the negative minus three plus two i, combining like terms. One minus three, negative two, negative six i plus two i, negative four i. Number nine, two plus five i, and then the opposite, and six, and plus eight i. Combine like terms, negative four plus 13 i. And then 10, 4 minus 3i, and distribute the negative plus 5, plus 7i. Combine like terms, 9 plus 4i. Number 11, negative 2, plus 3i, and distribute the negative minus 1, plus 2i. Combine like terms, negative 3, plus 5i. So reviewing those, starting with 11, negative 3 plus 5i, 10, 9 plus 4i, 9, negative 4 plus 13i, 8 is negative 2 uh, minus 4i, and 7, 1 minus i. So multiplying complex numbers, the next slide. Before multiplying, we have to recall that i times i is i squared, which is equal to negative 1. And the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. Here's a review of multiplying a binomial. And then you can look over these examples on your own here. So multiplying... Uh, number uh, on slide 9, 3 times 2 is 6, I'm distributing 3 to both terms, 3 times 5i, 15i, 4i times 2 is 8i, and then 4i plus 5i times 5i, 4i times 5i is 20i squared.
and then we want to combine like terms. 6 plus 23i and substitute a negative 1 where there ever there's an i squared. So this becomes 6 and 20 times negative 1. 6 minus 20 plus 23i. Minus 20 is negative 14. Plus 23i. So I just took 20 times negative 1 and put it next to the 6 because I'm going to combine those. Those are like terms there. Slide 10. Uh, 1 times 3, 3. 1 times negative 2i is negative 2i. Negative 6i times 3. Negative 18i. Negative 6i times negative 2i is plus 12i squared. Combine like terms 3 minus 20i and then plus 12 times negative 1. And then you want to do 3 minus 12 minus 20i. 3 minus 12 is negative 9 minus 20i. Uh, slide 11 is just more multiplication. 2 times 6, 12. 2 times negative 8i, negative 16i. 5i times 6 is 30i. And 5i times negative 8i, negative 40i squared. Negative 16i plus 30i is 14i. And negative 40 times negative 1. Can be positive 40. Twelve plus forty uh, plus forty nine. Negative 2 times 1, negative 2, negative 2 times negative 2i plus 4i, 3i times 1, 3i, 3i times negative 2i is negative 6i squared. Negative 2 times Plus 7i minus 6 times negative 1. Negative 2 plus 6 plus 7i.
four plus seven i. And then last one on this page, four times negative five, negative 20, four times negative seven i, negative 28 i, negative three i times negative five plus 15 i, negative three i times negative seven i plus 21 i squared. Combine like terms. And substitute negative one for I squared. And negative 20 minus negative 12 is negative 32. Let's slide 11. On slide 12, we have the complex conjugates here. So 2 plus 2 is 4. Negative 4i plus 4i is 0. 7 plus 7, 14. 2i and minus 2i is 0. Uh, negative 4 plus negative 4 is 0. I mean, negative 4 plus negative 4 is negative 8. And 4i plus negative 4i is 0. So what happens when we add complex conjugates? Result is going to be a real number. So what happens when we subtract them? 2 minus 2 is 0. Negative 4i minus 4i would be negative 8i. And then 7 minus 7, 0. 2i plus 2i is 4i. And uh, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. 4i four plus 4i is 8i. So what happens when we subtract complex conjugates? And then when we multiply 4 plus 8i minus 8i minus 16i squared. So 4 minus 16 times negative 1. Four plus sixteen is twenty. Second one, forty nine minus fourteen I 
That's 14i minus 4i squared. That's 49 minus 4 times negative 1. Forty nine plus four is fifty three. And the last one here negative four times negative four, sixteen uh, plus eight, uh, plus sixteen I. Minus sixty nine and minus sixteen I squared sixteen sixteen times negative one. This should be a negative one. Give me sixteen plus sixteen. It's thirty two. So when we multiply the result is a real number. And then slide 13, independent practice, adding these two, 6 plus 8i. And subtracting these two, negative 5 uh, plus 5i. Here, let's add these two together first. So we got uh, six uh, minus uh, plus i minus i is zero. So adding the first two complex numbers, you get six, and then distribute the negative. So the final answer, five plus i. Multiplying, use the distributed property twice. 15 plus 25i plus 9i. I squared by like terms fifteen thirty four I and then fifteen times negative one. Uh, this gives you zero here, 15 minus 15 is zero, 34i. Just checking my math there a second. So I'll distribute this negative i. You 
2i plus i squared yeah. and times Five plus six i. So wherever there's i squared, it's going to make that a negative one. So you get a one minus two i. Five plus six i. So I'll distribute it in the negative one, negative five, minus six i, minus ten i, minus twelve i squared. Negative 5 minus 16i is 12 times negative 1. It's 7. Plus sixty-nine, and the last one, multiplying these two together, two minus three i plus two i. Minus 3i squared. And then plus. Plus 3i. No 3i. Minus 3i squared. And minus i. So combining all the i's together, two, here's a negative three i and a positive three i, which is zero. And then two i minus i is i. And negative three times negative one. And minus three times negative one again. Two plus I plus three plus three. Combining like terms is eight plus I. That's slide thirteen. And then slide fourteen. Uh, the fifth equals I of the fourth times I well we know what I to the fifth is from the previous problem So one times I 
This should be a five here. I the fifth is equal to I. And then out of the six, you can use what out of the fifth is. So I the fifth is I equal with I, so I times I. So I the sixth is negative one. And I to the seventh, you can use the result for I to the sixth. So out of the sixth is negative one. Which is negative I. And out of the eighth, so I of the seven is negative I. times I. This is going to be the opposite of negative one. This is positive one. So we should see a pattern here. Let me get rid of this. So I the first is I, I squared negative one, I cubed negative I, I to the fourth. One out of the fifth I, I of the sixth negative one, I of the seventh negative I, I of the eighth one. So the pattern is this I um, negative one, negative I, and one.
So what am I going to do? 102 divided by 4. is two eight so I'm going to divide by 4. Uh, if I get a remainder 1. So you only get four answers. You're going to take the power and divide by four. This one happens to be evenly divisible by four. So you get a remainder zero. So here I get 28 remainder zero. So for 95, you want to do 90, 95 divided by four is equal to two. And 19 divided by 4 is 4, 8, 
So because I have remainder three, it corresponds to I uh, cubed. So I uh, to the nine hundred ninety five. You just negative on it. Let's leave this alone. So remainder one corresponds to i to the first. Remainder two corresponds to i squared or negative. One remainder three corresponds to i cubed, which is negative i. Remainder zero corresponds to i to the fourth or one. 